most important thing uh, which I'd like to share with you. Uh, a crisis communication protocol works when it's underpinned by the three C's of crisis management. You must always first show concern. It doesn't matter what has happened. You must empathize. You must show concern. That's the first C, that this thing has happened, it should not happen. The second C, show commitment. What is your commitment to addressing it and making sure that it does not happen again? The third C, take control. Now, you cannot take control if you don't have information. Actually, in the first 45 minutes of a crisis, people are doing back and forth trying to gather as much information. And you surprised why sometimes you see conflicting information from an incident saying 10 people died, somebody is reporting seven different numbers. Why should that happen? Why are we in a hurry? Why should somebody say, oh, it was the electric fault that caused the fire? Because we don't have a crisis management protocol that says we are concerned that this has happened, we are investigating, we will get back to you on the course. And when you give timelines, stick to them. Do not be a promise breaker.